What's the best present you can gift? A broken drum. Nobody can beat that. The movie opens in the lively city of Hong Kong in 1997, where a man named Tommy Hendrix is busy organizing a fashion show for V6 jeans. But there's a funny moment when some models won't wear the bold underwear. As Tommy deals with problems at the fashion show, he tries to reach his friend Ray. At the same time, we see Ray driving a car and then getting to a warehouse. There, he talks to someone, finds a box of money, and notices Puma shoes, adding to the mystery and how all these events are linked. Then, a mysterious box shows up, filled with lots of dolls. Ray, fascinated by the doll, gets interrupted by Skinny, a guy deeply involved in the doll trade, who stops Ray from touching the mysterious little figure. The story becomes more exciting as a carnival appears, and the announcement of the yearly rickshaw race creates a buzz. Tommy, clearly excited about the race, is soon joined by Ray. The cheerleaders quickly go to Ray, who then hurries to tell Tommy the plan for the day. In a surprising move, Tommy gives Ray a pair of Puma shoes. Eddie, another character, tells Tommy that he's sure to win no matter what shoes he wears. Ray and Eddie then join forces for the race, adding some fun and friendship to the mix. During the festive scene, Tommy and Ray end up arguing. The tension rises as Ray takes over driving the rickshaw, with Tommy in the back. The race between Eddie and Ray starts, going through tough paths and different kinds of roads. They race past a road near the fish market. Suddenly, Tommy gets hit with trash, and he ends up holding a fish. Tommy uses this chance to jokingly hit Ray with the fish, making Ray run even faster and making the race more intense. As the race goes on, Eddie cheats by using a look-alike to run for him, trying to win unfairly. Meanwhile, Ray's shoes start falling apart as he tries to get away from the crazy situation. A van shows up, picks up Eddie's double, and then shockingly shoots him. Seeing this, Ray quickly punches the van driver, causing a big crash. In the confusion, Ray ends up in a nearby mall. Ray gets into a fight with Ling Ho, a Hong Kong police. During their intense fight, Ling Ho's ID card accidentally drops. When Ray and Tommy see it, they're shocked to learn they're up against Russian agents. In all the mess, the Russian agents try to run away when they realize their secret is out. Ling Ho is about to catch Ray, but Tommy steps in, throwing a can from afar that knocks her out. Afterward, Ray tells Tommy that it was the police, not criminals, who attacked them. Police car shows up and takes Ray to the station. Trying to clear their names, Ray and Tommy tell the police they were just in the rickshaw race. But the police officer and Ling Ho ask them about the Russian agent's attack, leading Ray to talk about his real business in Hong Kong. Meanwhile, without their knowledge, Russian agents are listening to their conversation. Despite the confusing situation, the police let them go. As they're leaving, Karen Lee stops them with tough questions, adding more mystery. Karen Lee brings Ray and Tommy to her office and questions them about their jeans brand, Knock Off. She blames them for big losses from fake jeans and offers a deal. If they point out who switched the jeans in the warehouse, she'll drop the charges. At the same time, the Russian bosses, upset about their agent's failure, learn from Skinny about V6 and the Hong Kong detective's investigation. They realize their warehouse might be discovered. After this tense moment, they have a meal at the restaurant. A small incident escalates when Ray rips his shirt, annoying Tommy. Then, sauce spills on Tommy's shirt, so he goes to the restroom to clean it. Ray asks the chef about Eddie. In the restroom, agents confront Tommy, and he sees a news story that shocks him. Ray sees Tommy going to the bathroom and finds a dropped newspaper when he's alone. Looking outside, he sees an agent and quickly deals with the danger. Going upstairs, he overhears Tommy talking to a CIA agent, making him more suspicious that Tommy might be using him for secret reasons. As Ray comes up behind Tommy and questions who he is, Tommy admits they're both CIA agents. Tommy tells him that his mission was to find the people making fake products, and he had used Ray, known as the top guy in the knockoff world, for their secret plan. Harry tries to make Ray see the good reasons behind the trick. Feeling tricked by Tommy's dishonesty, Ray shows his anger and disappointment, telling him off before storming out. This truth hurts their friendship, leaving Ray to deal with the hard feelings about trust and loyalty. 
Later that night, Ray meets Karen in a van. The unresolved issues between Ray and Tommy make Ray feel uncomfortable and a bit annoyed. When they get to where they're going, Karen shares her story and tells Ray that Eddie will be arrested after their plan. Meanwhile, Tommy and other agents, including Officer Fong, are waiting for a truck with Mom's pizza on it. Suddenly, there's an explosion at the spot. Officer Fong chases the escaping truck and jumps onto it. Russian agents in the truck shoot at the police car, causing it to crash. Ray, determined to stop them, gets on top of the truck and bravely fights the Russian agents. In the wild scene, Ray manages to fight off the attackers, making some of them fall off the truck. The intense fight ends with Ray and Officer Fong falling off the truck along with a roadblock, allowing the truck to get away. On the ground, Ray finds Officer Fong's remote control, and soon both the police and Tommy show up. Tommy gives Ray his wallet and admits the broken pieces they make up, forgiving each other and shaking hands. Ray finds a tiny disc in the mess, leading him to see Tommy's boss near the Buddha statue. After learning about the powerful tiny bombs hidden in the tiny disc, Ray works with Harry and the CIA to understand the serious danger of these bombs. Knowing these tiny bombs could cause huge disasters worldwide, they start a mission to stop them from being used wrongly. Eddie and Harry suspect Ray is involved, so they confront him. On their way to a hotel, a kid secretly gives Ray a fruit with a message from Eddie inside. Next, they go to a fruit market, where Ray and Eddie get into a fight. During the scuffle, Eddie reveals important info, naming Skinny as the brains behind the fake goods scheme. He tells them that Skinny, after finding tiny bombs in the goods, tried to throw them in the sea to keep the Russians from finding them. To show proof, Eddie opens a safe, but then there's a fatal explosion. After Eddie's death, Tommy and Ray are in a dangerous spot, having to fight to get out of the building. Tommy grabs security footage as they escape. Eager to solve more of the puzzle, Ray kidnaps Skinny from his job and takes him to the CIA near the Buddha statue. Skinny, now captured, becomes key in figuring out the whole bomb situation. When they look at the security footage, Ray is shocked to see Karen, who seemed trustworthy, in the warehouse right before they got there. Back at the office, Karen handcuffs Tommy, ready to get answers from him. As Ray leaves, an explosion at the Buddha statue puts him in a rush to save Tommy. After a rough showdown, Karen says she's also with the CIA, leading to an unexpected team-up between her, Ray, and Tommy. As teams change, the Russians take the chance to grab Karen and Tommy. While looking through Karen's stuff, Ray finds a bomb detector and makes a startling discovery. The gene studs are actually tiny bombs. Keen to get to the bottom of this, Ray checks the computer for shipping details and uncovers a dark plan. Driven by urgency, Ray joins forces with the Hong Kong detective, urgently trying to get to the cargo ship, where Karen and Tommy are prisoners. On the ship, Harry takes charge, taking out Russian agents and showing his true intentions. Tommy is shocked to find out Harry is a double agent, planning to blackmail companies by threatening to set off tiny bombs hidden in products all over the world. Ray and the detective fight their way through the ship, battling the remaining Russians. They barely escape before Harry cruelly decides to blow up the ship. Karen, showing her tactical skills, counters by putting tiny bombs on Harry's boat, which leads to a big explosion. In the midst of all the turmoil, Ray and the detective managed to get the bomb remote from the water, stopping more destruction. Two hours later, Tommy and Ray are in a bar, thinking over what happened. Unknown to them, Harry, who everyone thought was dead, is making a new evil plan in a hidden room. Tommy, not paying attention, sets off the detonator, which destroys the building where Harry is. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.